Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Barry Hearn, the former CEO of Matchroom Boxing, says this about Anthony Joshua. Quote, Barry Hearn says that Joshua is at the crossroads in his career and he can't afford another loss. Wow. Barry Hearn, founder of Matchroom, makes it clear that the former two-time heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua can't afford another loss if he wants to be the top player at that weight class. Joshua, with three defeats on his record, is looking to return after suffering back-to-back -back losses against Alexander Usyk, the British star, is looking to resume his career in the first quarter of 2023. And according to Barry Hearn, he said this in depth. He said that he is at the crossroads in his career. He can't afford another loss. Barry told Sky Sports. Okay. He went on to say, the fight we all want to see is eventually with Fury. You'll get stories. Tyson will say the fight is never going to happen. Joshua will say he'd rather fight Dillian White, Hearn said. Forget all of that. The fight is going to happen, and I think it does happen at the tail end of 2023 for all the marbles. Those are the words of Barry Hearn. Let me counterpunch. <laughs> Listening to what Barry said, um, <laughs> It's clear to me, okay, um, that what he's saying is Anthony Joshua can't take another loss before getting in the ring with Tyson Fury. That's what he's saying. That's all he's saying. Because if you look at Anthony Joshua's career, he got his last strap in 2018. That was four years ago, nearly five. And he got it against Joseph Parker in a chess match-like fight that wasn't really uh, an, an exciting fight or entertaining fight. But he did bounce back at the end of the year, taking out Alexander Povetkin, which was a formidable opponent at the time and former WBA champion himself, right? And after that, from 19, 20, 21, 22... He was either fighting to get the belts that he lost back from Ruiz, which was in 2019. So he spent that whole year doing that in 2020 or like in 2020 in 2021 and this year uh, defending the belts. He defended them in 2020 and he spent two years trying to get them back. He tried to defend it and failed and tried to get them back and failed. OK, 2021, 2022. Both years. There was no tune-up fights. There was no wins in between that. He well, He's lost twice back-to-back. -back. That's why Barry Hearn is saying exactly what he's saying, because from 2018 to, to, to now, okay, um, he's not ascended to the next level, okay? He's not fought for undisputed. You know, he's either tried like hell to fight to keep the things that he had or lost trying to keep the things to get them back. OK, so there's been no progress really in Anthony Joshua since 2020. OK, the COVID mid uh, uh, mid COVID season. Right. So uh, that's what I see about Barry. He can't afford to lose if he wants to stop uh, uh, continue on the top level. So he's in planning to f go for the gusto. If you notice, he didn't say anything about Wilder. He didn't say anything about Joyce. He didn't say anything about Dubois. He didn't say anything about any other fighter but Tyson Fury. So in my mind, Barry's saying he can't lose another fight, right? If it ain't against Tyson Fury, because that's the fight that everyone wants to make. That, of course, I think is the cash out fight for Anthony Joshua. So if he loses it, it doesn't matter because at least he will be fighting for a title that he's never owned. And if he does beat Tyson Fury, that meant Tyson Fury had to beat Usyk if he fights him, right? So then AJ will be undisputed. So he would be a three-time champion and, und for, or, and undisputed heavyweight champion, the first since Lennox Lewis. 
that would seal AJ's legacy. But if he doesn't get there, there's, there's nowhere else, else to go unless Deontay Wilder wants to fight him. But I just find it strange that Barry Hearn is not talking about Deontay Wilder. He's only talking about Fury. Why? Because Fury has the belt. Fury's in a position to fight for Undisputed. And I think this is what they're seeing. They're seeing, okay, hopefully he takes out the Ukrainian. Okay? He takes the Ukrainian out. He beats the Ukrainian twice. And in 2024, they fight. You know, or... If he beats Alexander Usyk earlier this year, he's beat him so convincingly that Usyk decides to retire just like Vladimir Klitschko did against Anthony Joshua in 2017 so he can roll into a super fight domestically in the UK that makes millions and millions of pounds. That's what I see. That's why he said at the tail end of 2023, you know, so him saying, well, hey, he can't afford another loss, you know, um, I think Barry doesn't really uh, have a close-knit relationship with Anthony Joshua like Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn would have never said anything like that. You know, he would have said it, but then he would have said a lot of other things to patch it up, right? You know, to patch up that wound, you know, that he just made. Oh, <laughs> stitch, stitch, right? So, um... But is Barry right? I mean, at this point, people are already looking at AJ like, hmm, you know what I mean? So, you know, they're looking for AJ to make a comeback. So if, a, if he makes another loss, I think it's how he loses. I think it's when he loses. I think this is what I think. If AJ goes the next two years without a loss, people will forget about it. Now, criticizers or haters will still say, oh, man, he's a bum. And not acknowledging that he'd been beat by two people in his life. He's had three losses and he's been defeated by two people. Deontay Wilder's been defeated by one person and he has two losses and a draw. So, you know what I mean? I think people look at today's boxers with so much scrutiny and criticism because it's so limited. It's only two or three boxers that we have that we only talk about these days since 2018. Counterpunch. We don't really talk about Andy Ruiz. The only person that we talk about mainly is Alexander Usyk because he has made a, a vital uh, presence in the heavyweight division. Okay, not Andy. Andy was the one hit wonder. You know, he beat AJ, then got beat, then took two years off. Okay, ducked a lot of people in that process. But when he came back, he got dropped by a guy that was a journeyman in Chris Ariola. So nobody really talks about him. We still talk about the following. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua. And then we have Usyk. So we have really four people. We have a new player to the game, and he just came to the division a couple years ago. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Barry Hearn stating that Anthony Joshua cannot afford another loss. He's at a crossroads. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.